Hi guys, it's Dinosaur Friend, and it's time for another Let's Play Super Mario 64. So last time around, we got the 100 coin star at Rainbow Ride, and then we got a bunch of these crazy freaking secret stars. So we're at star 119 right now. We have one final star to go. This is so sad. We're about to finish the game. I am extremely sad. Anyways, this game has been really cool. So um, this episode will be devoted to the end game. I know it sounds really scary, but yeah. Um, anyways, we gotta get the last star, which is in Bowser's level of craziness um, in here. Remember the endless stairs? Well, it's not so endless anymore. There's an end to it, so now we can do this, and we can totally fight Bowser now. Okay, so I actually don't remember where all the eight red coins are here, so you're just gonna have to... <laughs> oh gosh, that was that was like the lamest entrance to the final level. It's like right at the beginning I stumble. So anyways, um, uh, yes, ooh, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> but yes, um, you guys are gonna have to bear with me because I don't remember where everything is. Um, so, uh, I need to push this here and then we can get this point up here and such like that. Um, there's a lot of crazy enemies here, like there's Womps. I don't think there's thwomps here, but there's womps, there's chukyas, there's goombas, there's piranha plants, there's like crazy amount. I, I like, I also like how I can run up vertically like that. <laughs> I didn't realize you could do that when I was a kid, so I was like, how do I get up here? But then I figured it out, because I am such a smart little boy. Anyways, I think there's some red coins over here, if I recall correctly. There's like down here. This area kind of reminds me of that one area in Rainbow Ride. Um, yeah. And I think there's a coin over there, but we gotta, like, avoid this fire, these fire people. Um, well, I guess not. There's no coin here, so that's kind of silly of me to go there. Anyways, we can do a triple jump. Uh, there's the nice one up there if you guys want it. Haha! Ooh, hey, ah, okay, um, now we can do this. I'm not sure if there's any red coins here, but you can actually do a shortcut right there, uh, doing a backflip. I don't recall if there's any stuff here, but we're gonna go ahead and look here because we don't want no shortcuts. Who wants shortcuts these days? And I don't like this Chuck yet. Um, darn it, that was bad. Good. 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 Oh, darn it! I can't even grab that thing. You gotta grab onto it, Mario. Gosh, darn it. Gosh, darn it. That was actually really cool. <laughs> uh, so I guess I'll meet you guys up there. So yeah. All right, guys. I decided to take the shortcut because I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Anyways, um, we gotta find more red coins. More red coins. All right. So now we can do this like crazy, like vertical walk again. Um, I think there's a red coin up here. Yes, there was one right here. Now we can go downstairs or down ramp. This ramp is really scary looking, actually. Like honestly, honestly. This camera, man. I'm all up for free camera angles, but gosh, that was ridiculous. Ridiculous. Anyways, there's that awkward red coin up there. I don't, I don't really like that one because I sometimes die when I get this one, like that. <laughs> but luckily, I landed right there, which wasn't so bad. Um, let's start that over. Ah! 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 Wow, I suck at this game. <laughs> um, anyways, let's keep on climbing. These Lego steps. These always reminded me of Legos and made me want to play with Legos right after I played Super Mario Sunshine, or 64. Um, yes, my childhood was awesome. It was filled with Legos and Super Mario 64. What kid did not want that? Anyways, we gotta go on this thing. This thing is weird. Gotta heal up. Yeah, the faster you make it spin, the more you heal. Kind of a strange healing way. So anyways, uh, gotta get this. And how many coins do we have? We have five coins, I think. We're on track, I think. Ooh, that ba bomb followed me. All right, now you're not gonna follow me because you can't climb ropes because you got, oh, got no arms. You got no arms. And there's one over there. Ooh. How did I fall through that? Did I not grab it? That was weird. Um, okay, that was kind of weird. 
Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and try that again, because Mario likes trying things again, and obviously needs to rescue Princess. I never noticed that those are Goombas right there. Playing on a CRT, like, you don't really notice these things, I guess, but I didn't realize those are Goombas and Turtle Shells. Did I, did I get that coin? Oh, I did get that coin. Um, that's kind of weird. So anyways, I think there's one more coin somewhere up here. Um, I remember there being a strong gust of wind somewhere up here as well. I remember when I was a kid, I got to here and I was like, I don't know what to do. Because, like, I didn't think these... I didn't see these things for some reason. These elevator things? Or maybe it was... It was uh, whoops. I didn't see those ones. I was like, what do I do here? So I didn't see these ones and I totally just didn't know what to do. Uh, okay, so anyways, you gotta run through here and there's a lot of blizzards and stuff here. So you gotta watch out for Goombas. And a little Easter egg here. If you guys look at the wall, that's actually Mario fighting Bowser. Uh, Bowser blowing fire at Mario and Mario doing his thing. Uh, but anyways, the last red coin is actually down here. It's kind of sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Alright. So anyways, we can go ahead and do that. I always thought these uh, steps were made of ice. That's why there was like an icy wind blowing. So anyways, that's star number 120, guys. That's the last star in the entire game. So yes, I want to save, and now we can go ahead and beat Bowser. Oh no, he's like rainbow colored. I honestly don't know why he's rainbow colored to be honest, but anyways. Mario, you again. Well, that's just fine. I've been looking for something to fry with my fire breath. Your power star is useless against, or your star power is useless against me. Your friends are all trapped within the walls, and you'll never see Princess again, or the Princess again. Wahaha. This music is freaking epic, by the way, for Bowser levels. Oh gosh. This fire, this fire breath is really annoying, because it kind of just like lands everywhere, and it just makes the whole game poopy because of him. Bowser, stop making things poopy and laggy. It's like super laggy. I remember I hated that. Anyways, um, you can kind of just do this kind of crazy thing here and just grab by the tail here and swing them to the nearest bomb. I usually like doing that. I, I, I can't aim for beans for some reason on these Bowser levels, so I usually just wait around the bomb and have him charge me, and then I just jump over him, and I didn't do that right, because I apparently really suck at this game. Um, but anyways, uh, let's just toss him to the bomb. And now, the best part is that he throws a little tantrum here, which allows you to grab his tail, and it turns this whole thing, arena, into a star, so you can't get up close to the bombs, which sucks. So, let me try doing this. One, two, three! Did I do it? I did it! I am so proud of myself because that's the first time I've ever done that. Not the first time, but I rarely... I, I am rarely able to do such feats of awesome. <laughs> Anyways. No, you beat me this time, Mario. I can't stand losing to you. My troops. Worthless! They turned over all the power stars. What? 120 in all? Amazing. I'm showing the castle that I missed. Now I see peace returning to the world. Ugh, I really hate that. Can't watch. I'm out of here. Uh, just you wait until the next time. Until then, can keep that control stick smoking. Wahaha. <laughs> so yeah, um, he actually has a different dialogue if you don't collect 120 stars and you beat him, say, at like 70 stars. He actually has a different dialogue saying like, haha, my troops are still holding on to the stars, so you better do something about it or something like that. But anyways, we just beat the final boss of Super Mario 64. That's awesome. So let's grab this giant star and watch cool stuff happen. Yes, obviously Mario can do all those crazy jumps. I always like when I was a kid, I was like, why can't I do that when I'm doing triple jumps to a flying thing? But I kind of like how he's like just sparkling and flying away.
is restored to the castle. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. We have to do something special for you. Here we go! Listen, everybody. Let's bake a delicious cake. For Mario. All right, guys, that was Super Mario 64. One of my favorite games as a childhood, obviously, as a child, obviously, just because it was such an awesome game. So we get kind of a cool credit shot of like everything um, in this awesome game. But I kind of like how there was like a toad just waiting in the corner of the screen. <laughs> I never noticed that on a CRT. I, I play this game on a CRT, which is the old crazy crappy televisions of, of old times and such but anyways yes this game has a very special place in my heart because um fat penguins such as that <laughs> no just kidding it's it's just a game i really grew up with and i just really loved as a kid just because gosh this game i don't know it was it was difficult at some points just because you didn't really know where to get the stars and the level of exploration and everything like this game was just magical. It was it was such a great game, and obviously being the first 3D Mario that was ever, well, maybe not the first 3D Mario, but the first successful 3D Mario ever made, um, just made this game even better. And obviously, the good old N64 days, you know, like everybody loved that. So yes, that's Sandy Land there. <laughs> so anyways, uh, yes, this game is just awesome. I, I can't say that enough. I love this game so much because there's so much to do, so much, to, yeah, craziness. And then there's obviously the remake Super Mario 64 DS, which I picked up immediately once it came out, just because I love Super Mario 64 and whatnot. So yes. I gotta say though, if I were to rate this game on a scale of 1 through 10, I would probably give it maybe a 9.8, just because even though it's such a great game, I gotta say it wasn't exactly perfect, just because there was a lot of, you know, hiccups with the camera angles and whatnot, and there was also a couple of glaring glitches that were kind of, I kind of just, I wasn't too crazy about it, but... Otherwise, you know, it's just such a fantastic game uh, since it's one of gaming's first ventures into the 3D world. It, you know, we can't we can't really say that these things are huge, but you know, they could have been improved on as as we've seen in uh, future games such as Super Mario uh, Super Mario Galaxy and whatnot. So yeah, another disappointment I kind of had is the is the exclusion of Yoshi. I mean, he was in the game, but we couldn't use him at all. It was kind of sad to see that. It would have been great if we if we could see Yoshi or Luigi, even though there are rumors on the internet that you can use him, but you know, we can't. We can't obviously use Luigi, so that really sucks. Anyways, that's kind of the ending of all the credits in the reel. I remember I just loved watching this part when I was a kid, just Mario waving goodbye to the Lucky Two, who never tried to kill him in the entire game. Thank you so much for playing my game. So that was Super Mario 64. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me replay one of my favorite childhood games. It's really an awesome game. If you guys haven't played it yet, Go ahead and pick it up and play it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series and I shall see you guys on the next series.